hello loves and welcome back to my channel my name is Angelique if you are new here and today I'm going to be organizing and decluttering my whole kitchen now this is going to be a part of my organize with me 2021 I actually did this last year so it shouldn't be too bad but every year I find it very helpful to fully go through your home and reorganize so that way you know exactly where everything is and it all has a place and also so you know that nothing in your house is unnecessary plus it feels really good to give your home a fresh start so we are going to start in the kitchen. I feel like whenever I clean or organize, I always like to start in the kitchen. I think it's just because it's like the heart of the home. So once that's clean and organized, I feel like everything else starts to fall into place. And honestly, again, it shouldn't be too bad because I did do this last year and I'm pretty good at keeping things organized, but I do know some drawers have gotten out of hand and I do need to rework some areas. And now that we're like more familiar and comfortable with this space, we have been here for like a year and a half so it finally feels like our home and we know how we actually use the space so with that in mind I want to take you step by step through my organizing and cleaning process and share with you tips and tricks along the way let's get organizing <laughs> Okay, so something I always do whenever I organize is carry around a notebook with me so that way I can write down any notes or anything I need to grab from the store. So I actually went ahead, speaking of the store, I went ahead and grabbed containers from TJ Maxx and Target so that way I had something to work with while we were organizing, but I just have this just in case I need to write something down. But you'll never know what you'll actually need till you get in there and organize, so the notebook will come in handy. It's also great when we go through the pantry and the fridge and you can actually create a grocery list of what is needed in that area. So that is a very handy tip that I use. I do it every time I clean or organize a space. Always handy to have your notebook. <laughs> I feel like, what is it, Blue's Clues or like Dora the Explorer? It's like your handy dandy notebook. Yeah, I got that. Okay, let's start organizing. <sighs> All right, we're gonna start over in the cabinets, but let me move over there and we will start this organizing process. So the first thing we're going to do in this organizing video is go through all the cabinets in the kitchen. And I'm gonna start at this end and go from there. I know this seems overwhelming and trust me, it is, but something that helped me a lot last year before I jumped into actually organizing the cabinets is to really assess your kitchen and your space and figure out what is actually needed. Some people have a ton of space to work with and others don't have as much, but no matter the amount of space, it is possible to have an organized and functioning kitchen, you just need to define the space in your kitchen. It helps a freaking ton. For instance, we don't have a walk-in pantry or storage room, just the cabinets that you see here. So the first thing that I did last year was clearly define what cabinets were going to be used as the pantry. And once I did that, everything else started to make sense. So the little tip here is if you don't have a lot of space, try to declutter as much as you can, as well as don't keep a lot of food like in storage. I actually had to get used to not keeping a lot of like bath stock, but it really helps keep everything organized and decluttered. So keep that in mind when you are going through your kitchen and trying to figure out why you don't have a lot of space. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna share with you before we actually jump into organizing are these five steps that I will be doing throughout this organizing and decluttering process of the cabinets. So here are your five steps for organizing your kitchen. The first thing we're going to do is take everything out of the cabinets. The second thing is we're gonna wipe out all the cabinets. Then we are gonna properly organize everything into sections on your counter so you can clearly know what you have in that cabinet. The fourth thing is we're going to get rid or donate anything that you don't need or use. So if it doesn't serve a purpose or you don't use it, just get rid of it. And the fifth step is to add a container or a basket if needed to keep that cabinet organized and more visually appealing. So just remember those five steps. They are simple, but very useful in this kitchen organization process. All right, we're gonna start with this medicine cabinet and go from there. Okay, so we're about to start with the medicine cabinet, but I wanted to share another tip with you. So another good tip before you even jump into organizing a space is to actually plan it out. So I went through and wrote out like my plan of attack. So that way I didn't feel overwhelmed. I went into the space knowing what I was going to be doing and I just have a plan of action, which always helps whenever you're doing a project as big as organizing your kitchen. So that being said, the first thing is the medicine cabinet. So we're gonna start there. 
and we're gonna start by taking everything out like I mentioned. And as I pull it out, I am going to start to organize it into piles so that way I can start that. <laughs> medicine cabinets always get so unorganized I feel like because people are always pulling out random bottles and honestly last year we didn't use our medicine cabinet as much but as COVID and everything else I feel like we've been in here a lot more so I actually am going to utilize my baskets and containers in this cabinet more because last year I didn't do it because we didn't really use it so now that we use it I am going to organize it better this time Wow, okay, so that is so much better. So I basically did it by convenience. I have prescriptions and things we never use. I have extra masks and like um, cold medicine. This is basically my COVID shelf. <laughs> and then in here I have like cough drops. I have um, supplements that we never really take. They're just here. I have like back stock of my multivitamins and vitamin C that I always take. I have like a pain and allergy little container. I have a bug spray and bug bite situation and then down here I have all of our meds that we take all the time this is like I need access to container um, and then over here we have like all of our gummy vitamins and things like that so now everything has a container everything has a spot and it makes sense and it looks so much better medicine cabinet is done now we can move on to the next thing on our list which is the utility cabinet down here I have my utility cabinet and um, it is not organized at all and there's a bunch of things in here that just don't need to be in here so it definitely needs to be reorganized and just gone through um, so I will be making a pile up here of things that just don't need to be in here so yeah right, so that can be tossed remember how I said I have a few places that need to be reworked this is one of them. Like I have extra baggies and just random like outdoor screws that need to go out to Sawyer's office. It's just kind of like the catch-all area. Much better. Look how much unnecessary stuff was in this cabinet. And now I can actually find what I'm looking for in here. <laughs> All right, next we are going to clean out underneath the sink. Now last year I actually came up with a pretty good organization system under here and it stayed pretty well organized since. Like I'm not mad about it. I just, of course, I'm gonna redo it since I'm here. But my main thing with under the sink, because I feel like so often under the sinks just get so like, crowded and unnecessary products are under there. So my advice for organizing under the sink is if it doesn't need to be there, put it somewhere else. Like find a place in your laundry room or your garage that's dedicated to like extra products or cleaning solutions, things like that, that just, you know, you don't need it under your sink. Keep what you need here. So that being said, I'm going to pull everything out. It's kind of tight quarters. Um, but this is my cleaning bin. I created this last year. I just got this bin from Target and this is like my cleaning caddy. It's just my basket that I bring with me when I clean in the house. So that's well organized. And then I guess I'll do it like half and half because I don't have a lot of space here. So what I did is dedicate each side to something. So over here I have all my cleaning supplies. I have a few extra bottles like back stock in the back because I personally don't have a laundry room and don't have a garage. So I have a few products back there. I created this basket also from Target with extra products that I don't use that frequently, but the basket make it easy to pull out and access. So that goes in the back. Then I have my cleaning caddy with products that I use frequently. So what I love is if I need to get to that back basket, I just pull this out and that back one is very easy to get to. Now I do have this little extra space right here. So I do keep products that I don't use all that frequent, but it works right there. So I have like my Clorox wipes, I have like a room spray, I have a disinfectant spray, and just a few other little things that I keep right there. So that is this half of the sink. Then over here 
you'll be so amazed at just wiping out all of your cabinets, how much better it'll look. So over here, I kind of keep back stock of cleaning products as well, but like bigger things like soap and bleach, mop solution, just bulkier things over here that I don't access all that often, like my dishwasher, soap, and magic erasers. Those are over here. I have an extra roll of paper towels under here. That, my friends, is how I organize underneath my sink. Pretty simple, honestly. Products I use, back stock and things I don't use that often. Everything I can access really easy. And gosh, I wish I had a laundry room or a um, garage, but I feel like I do a pretty good job of keeping only what's needed under here. So under the sink is now done. Okay, next we're going to move on to the corner cabinets. Now, if you watched my Organize With Me last year, you saw that I am not that big of a fan of corner cabinets. And the reason for that being is I was trying to do like our plates in the corners and then use these bottom cabinets for like canned goods and like flour and it was just too hard and it didn't make sense for our space and how we use it. So last year I actually came up with other uses for these corner cabinets and it just made so much more sense to me. So when we get up to the top, I'll show you how I organized that one. But down here, I actually use it to store. I store all of our like serving dishes and platters and bowls up top. So that way I can easily access them. And this works so much better for me. And down here, I store all of our big pots and pans because if I need to get to one, I can just rotate it, whoops, and pull it out. <laughs> and I can't even tell you guys how much better this works for me. If you have corner cabinets, I highly recommend maybe trying it and see if this works for you as well. I actually did this to my mom's kitchen as well, and it makes it so much easier to access all of your serving dishes as well as your pots and pans. Like. You can just spin it and pull out what you need. No more pulling everything out just to get to one pot. So this is how I utilize my corner cabinets. Um, I'm probably not gonna pull everything out of here. I am gonna pull out some of the things on the side and wipe it out. I only say that because I keep this very, very, very organized because we use it all the time. So it can actually never get unorganized, otherwise we wouldn't be able to use it. Um, it just would be awful. So I keep this very organized. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, make sure everything's organized and good, but then we'll move on. But that is my big tip for a corner cabinet. Oh, and you know, oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, camera's there. Um, I thought it was over here. Anyways, um, another great thing I use this space for is because it's a corner cabinet and these um, Lazy Susans are circles, that makes sense. I actually have a lot of storage on the side. So I store all of my odd vases. I kind of store everything along the side and it comes in handy because I know everything fits in here. I have a lot of height. Um, let me show you what I mean. So you can see I have a cheese board, some vases, some pictures over here, and it makes it really easy because I can just reach back there and grab it. And yeah. So I think that's it on this corner cabinet, honestly. Um, like I said, I keep it pretty organized, so it just really needed to be wiped out. So I think that's it. I'll show you guys how I do the top cabinet now. Now I'm going to take you through my top corner cabinet situation. So again, I use this corner cabinet for storage. When we first moved in, I tried to use it like for the plates and platters, and it just did not work out. This works out so much better for us. So, ow. Up top, I end up doing kitchen appliances that we don't use very often or rarely. So that's just kind of like kitchen appliance storage. Then here is pretty much my COVID end of the world storage food. Um, I have like top ramen, hash browns, protein bars, macaroni. This honestly wasn't used that much until COVID. Um, so I kind of had to find a spot for all of that food. So this had become my food storage spot for like more end of the world situation. <laughs> then right here, I use this for like measuring cups. I have paper plates. I have like to go little cups. I reuse my Starbucks cup. That is a good tip. I always keep them and use them for when we're on the go. And yeah, so this has definitely become more utility. Now that you know how I organize this cabinet, let's actually organize it.
Okay, so we are moving on to these top cabinets. Now over here is where I ended up storing the plates. I switched these out not too long ago. They are all from Target. Um, I went with a black and white theme because in the kitchen, I'm definitely going more black and white. Um, I at first had gray, moved on. <laughs> so I have my black set up here. I use these more of accents. My main set is white. I will have everything linked down below. So anything in the kitchen should be down there. But um, again, I just did this, so I don't need to reorganize it because it's organized, but I will make sure the shelves are clean, but it wasn't that long ago that I got these. So, honestly, I just want to dust off the shelf. And then over here is where I store all of the glassware. So up top, I have some of the smaller glasses. Then I keep all of our wine and champagne glasses here. And then this is all of our drinking glasses. Now, I am not gonna lie, this does not need to be reorganized. It might be way too hard to pull everything out to wipe out the shelves. I know that's me being lazy, but again, it really shouldn't be that dirty. It is not one of those super used cabinets. So, I'm gonna call that one good. I'll allow you not to wipe out a few of your shelves as well. How about that? Fair trade. <laughs> so that is the plate and cup situation. All right, down here we have the silverware drawer. Um, this, again, shouldn't be too bad. I keep this pretty organized, but I do wanna take everything out and wipe it out. Sounds stressful, but it needs to be done. Much better. You know my glass water bottle I like that I described like a water bottle that you're eating? <laughs> fell out of the car and shattered. No, really? Yeah. Now I feel bad. Yeah, you wish that into the world. I didn't, I didn't oh. wish that. I loved it. So I had this glass water bottle that I could never fully clean the lid, so it always grossed me out. It was a waterfall experience. It was, it was pretty cool, but I just... We've had it for so long, I was like, babe, I think it's on its way out. And he's like, no! But he just informed me that it just fell out of the car and shattered. So now I feel bad. I'll find you another one somewhere. Where'd you get that, do you know? No, it found me. It found you, oh my gosh. Okay, so directly underneath the silverware drawer, we have these two pull-out drawers that I use for kitchen accessories, small appliances, things that we frequently use. Um, I freaking love these pull-out drawers, they are so smart. If I ever remodel a kitchen, I will make sure to put these in because it makes it so much easier to like access things. So highly recommend them. Anyways, we need to organize this, but I will kind of give you a rundown as to what I put up here. So I have all my mixing bowls with a few small little accessories. Kind of doesn't make sense, but I keep them there. I have some of my extra plates that don't fit up there, so I just store them here. Um, I have some strainers, I have a mixer, I have my Nutribullet, a cheese grater, and my salad spinner sits here. Right now it's just the lid. But um, yeah, this are, these are things that we frequently use. And same down here in my George Foreman. I have a turkey pan, which I've never used in my life, but it's the only spot that fits. And then I have a few like, babe, do you know what those are called? The guacamole bowls? Do you know? There's a word for them, but anyways, I have a few small like um, trivets and some like guacamole smasher bowls. And I have my herb saver. So this is kind of just a catch-all drawer, but it makes sense for what we need. Um, and yeah, so now I'm gonna pull it out and clean it, organize it, and make sure everything is needed in here. Ooh, fact. Am I doing this? Okay, and the cleaning begins now. Okay, 
so we have flipped around to the drawers right next to the stove and this is actually the place that I needed to rework the most um, we recently just redecorated our dining room you might have seen that video and I ended up getting a console table over there and it has three drawers as well as some baskets so it offers some more extra space um, for storage so that means that some of these drawers here that hold like zip ties and more like utility things, like, you know, um, what, the little feet, the felt feet that go on the bottom of furniture, things like that. That means I can relocate them to one of those drawers. So I'm going to rework these four drawers that I have here. And I'm so excited because we can't even get into our like spatula um, tool kitchen drawer right here where we have whisks and things, it is so freaking full. So my game plan here is to split everything up. We're gonna do like all the spatulas over here and then all of the tools over here and then I will move everything else down. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit of a process but we're gonna start first with dividing what's in this drawer so I can see what I have. Perfect. Babe, look, look, we'll be able to actually function in these drawers here in a second. I'm gonna get yelled at when I don't put things away right now. Yep. So gross. Yep. I actually asked um, people on Instagram to ask any questions, and I will be doing a little QA in here in, uh, later today. But one of the questions was since you're standing here, it's really funny. Um, <laughs> one of the questions was, what do you do when you organize your whole kitchen and your partner doesn't understand your process and messes it all up? And I was like, well, you just yell reorganize them. it. You yell at them. Yeah, you yell at them and try to ingrain it in their head. <laughs> we learn quick. Do you? You learn quick, huh? I actually use all these tools. I recently went through all of my spatulas um, because my mom for Christmas actually got me a new set of all matching black, which I freaking love. So I went through and got rid of anything that wasn't matching and just kind of redid my spatulas. Now that this drawer is empty, everything in here are going to be like tongs and spatulas, things that we use to cook. That makes sense. Oh, so much better. This is where I've been keeping all of my Ziplocs, foil, uh, parchment paper, things like that. But my plan is to move all of this stuff to this bottom drawer. Um, it'll be deeper, I'll be able to store some of my back stock that was in that utility cabinet that just didn't make sense. So I'm going to move all of this over there and put all of these tools in here. That's the game plan. So, uno momento. This drawer makes so much more sense. Oh, this makes me so happy. So now, when we're cooking and we're looking for something, we have like all the tools that we need and we have all the spatulas and a different place. So, oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. Okay. Oh, I am gonna still keep this my towel drawer, but I might end up moving my sponges and stuff and get another little bin um, and put it underneath the sink. Um, I just feel like this doesn't need to be here and I could use this space differently. Something I always do once a year is go through my towels and make sure there are no stains on them. If there are, I toss them. I feel like every year you can do that, you know? Get a new pack of towels and also refold all your towels, you know? Make it look nice in here. If you're doing it, do it right. And then this very bottom drawer is the utility drawer. It's a mess. This is actually, I don't even want to do this. I don't even, I don't even have words for this drawer. This is the drawer that needs the most help. And again, now that I have that extra space in the console, this'll, this'll be better. So let's empty it, go through it, and make this better.
Okay, so I'm gonna have to find a home for a lot of things. That might not all happen right this moment. What I am going to do, because I know I want and need this to be my Ziploc bag um, storage spot. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that in here and see how that starts to work out. Um, and then try to find a spot for some of this. Now I need to find a home for a lot more things, but this works so much better because now I don't need to have a bunch of extra baggies and random spots because it doesn't fit in this little drawer. So this area definitely makes more sense. So I'm gonna take a second and get some of this out of here and we will continue going through these cabinets, but whew, very happy about that. Okay, we are moving on to this cabinet right next to the stove. And in here, I keep a set of pans that we use very frequently. Um, and then down here are our cutting boards and a few pans for like cakes, cookie sheet, and then just a few utility things. So this cabinet doesn't actually need to be gone through because again, it's something that I frequently use and access. Um, so I just need to wipe it out because for some reason, they just get so dirty. We have here a pull-out spice cabinet and you know, this thing I haven't fully, fully committed to yet. I know that sounds funny, but um, I really wanna get like a set of spice jars with labels and like properly do it, but I just haven't committed to that yet. I'm curious, have you guys found a set that you like? What I struggle with is this isn't very wide, so it's really hard to do the spice containers side by side, so I probably will have to get like, I don't know, I'll probably just have to measure it and then look on Etsy and see what spice containers are available. Um, but to be honest, this isn't that unorganized. Um, so I'm probably just going to leave this um, until I figure out exactly what I will want to do. But if you guys have any recommendations, I mean, I know I can just order them, but I don't know. Just want to see if you guys have done it and if there's, you know, um, a jar that you guys liked and have had luck with. But as of right now, this is my situation. These are spices that we use pretty much daily. These are like more like rubs and marinates, like seasoning for like steaks and such. And then this is just kind of like back stock. This drawer is so cool and I'm so glad we have it. Underneath our microwave, they added this really, really big oversized drawer and it is perfect for those odd items that you don't know how to store or you don't know what to do with. So honestly, <laughs> I just spilled a whole coffee um, one morning when I was getting it out of the microwave and it went everywhere in here. So I, I have already <laughs> deep cleaned this drawer maybe about two weeks ago. But let me grab my hitch. I do see a little bit of dust. But this drawer is awesome. If you ever redo a kitchen, keep that in mind. Big drawers, pull out drawers, things like that. Oh my gosh. All right, now we're gonna move on to the coffee cabinet. I love having a coffee cabinet. One of the questions I got asked was how to organize like your coffee mugs and what I have found is having a designated area for your coffee stuff. So, I have here this cabinet right above our coffee machines, and I always store the uh, Nespresso pods up here, as well as a few random mugs um, that we don't use all that often, but I know we don't want to get rid of. So, mainly this is just back stock of our Nespresso pods. And then this shelf here is where I store all of the water bottles. I actually need to go through that. Nothing gives me more anxiety than just having an obsessive amount of water bottles. Um, Sawyer and I only use one each, and obviously we like to have them for when guests come, but that's a lot. And then over here, I just have our canister of coffee and sugar, which I might be switching out. Um, and then down here, I just have the mugs that we use more regularly. Um, now I am gonna go through this as well because I feel like we just have a lot right now um, and I want it to look more clean, you know? So. Okay, so 
I had gotten these sugar and coffee canisters oh my gosh maybe about seven years ago like in my first apartment and I just feel like the suction part of it just isn't keeping our coffee as fresh so I ended up grabbing these OXO containers from TJ Maxx I grabbed one for sugar and coffee so I'm hoping that um, they work better I actually have these for like our flour and everything so I actually like that everything will match now so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over as well look donation stuff love it we have it made it to the last cabinet that is storage <laughs> and I never get up here this is just items that I don't use all the time this is like my big ninja slow cooker we have a waffle maker I have a rice cooker back there um, which I actually think I don't need anymore so I might actually get rid of that um, and I might need a taller stool but I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it out pull out that rice maker So we have finished going through all the cabinets in the kitchen. Um, I'm saving like the pantry and the fridge and the mini fridge, all of the food stuff for tomorrow. I wanna go through everything today. Um, so that includes the hutch. This hutch is used as <laughs> purely storage. If I didn't have this, I don't know what I would do. And again, with the console table being over there, um, I want to move a few things over there that I just don't need to access, like in the baskets. Um, I like to keep this more like usable space, things that I use more frequent. So we're just gonna go through this, organize it, and yeah. So on this side of the cabinet is candles <laughs> basically all candles I love my candles I love having a good amount of backstock of candles so that is all right here I have some art stuff and I don't know if you can see but there's a huge pile behind me um, this corner is like our junk corner it's like where everything ends up and we redid the dining room and there's now a mirror there <laughs> so you can see everything in this area so I really just need to make this more functional so a lot of this is art stuff so I need to find a home for all of our art stuff there's a box of paints here there's a box of paints here there's more paints and <laughs> just a lot going on in the art department so I need to find um, a container to store all the paints in and just find a home for it so I'm gonna take things out and try to reorganize this a little better so I have taken out some of the decor the placemats and art stuff because I want to relocate that so up here I just have like all my back stuff of candles I have like my little sewing kit and now it gives me more room um, for probably some of the things over there that I'll need to find a home for since I <laughs> got rid of that utility drawer and now is a ziploc drawer so that leaves me some space to organize with here in a minute on this side is the dog cabinet so I keep their dog food and treats I keep their little costumes their little medicine container and their little like shampoo bin. Um, basically this is just the dog's half of the cabinet and it works out perfect. And I actually don't need to reorganize this. I actually did it yesterday because I had to, I was trying to look for something. So highly recommend if you have a animal to organize their stuff into bins. It makes it so much easier. Like I have their leashes in a little bin. I have their medicine in this little container and it just makes life easier. So like I said, I'm gonna find a new home for all of my art stuff. So I'm just gonna put it on the counter here. Um, I think after I organize this, I'm gonna to head to Target and find a few more containers that I need now knowing my situation. <laughs> find a new home for this. And a new home for this. But in terms of this hutch, 
I really, really would like to get rid of this tray. This has just turned into like a junk spot. Initially, it was a spot where we put our masks and I had like Purell and all that, but as time has gone on, I've been trying to eliminate this tray. So, have reorganized this drawer, kind of, and I've put our masks in here. So I'm gonna go through it again and make this more usable and then go through these drawers as well. This is where we keep Sawyer sunglasses and like just his personal things. And over here is where like I keep my things, things that I can throw in and out of my purse, as well as my sunglasses and keys. And then down here is stuck. It just needs to be gone through. So I'm gonna quickly go through this and try to eliminate this tray. So wish me luck. eliminate this tray makes me very happy so I think everything has been successfully gone through you should see the mess behind me <laughs> because I have to find new homes for things um, but that's part of the organizing process in fact let me just show you show you what I'm dealing with here this is the mess of my kitchen right now. Gotta find some homes for a few things. I have to go to Target to grab a few bins so that way I can organize some of this. I'll let you know. I might work on the console when I get home once I kind of figure some of this out, but wow, that was a lot today. <laughs> All right, off to Target we go. Okay, I got my list and my boyfriend and we're about to go in to Target. Gotta find some bins. Okay, I think I successfully found everything that I needed as far as bins. So now I'm gonna go home and try to get everything organized before I start the pantry and food stuff tomorrow. Okay, so we just got home from Target and dinner. I'm going to quickly try to organize some of this stuff and get it um, put away. I'm thinking in the guest room, I'm gonna make like an art drawer in one of the um, drawers in the dresser. Um, and I think that's where all this will live for now. Okay, well, do not mind the dirty dishes, but I did grab a bin at Target for all of my extra sponges that I have. I just wanted something that I could put under the sink and utilize some of that space. So, have all this here and I'm gonna grab my magic erasers all right cool now I have like all of my cleaning sponges and scrubbies and all my extra stuff in one spot underneath the sink rather than in many places around the kitchen so that makes a lot more sense okay I think that's the last thing that I'm gonna do tonight <laughs> so I will see you guys in the morning when we continue this kitchen organization video <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. I spent last night kind of going through all the random stuff on the counter. I ended up finding a place for like all the art supplies and all those random utility things that were just in those drawers and cabinets that didn't need to be there. So I got the counter pretty much clear except for some of the containers that I got just in case I need them for like the pantry or fridge when we go through that. But the last thing that we need to organize before we jump into like the food, fridge and pantry is this black console. Now I haven't really figured out how this will be best used. I did start messing with the drawers to see what I like to wear and it'll probably change again. But let's go ahead and open these drawers up and try to organize this black console table. Basically what I wanted to do over here is Put things like napkins, napkin rings, um, like the felt feet, the furniture markers, things like that that have to do more with like decor and furniture. So that is the plan for this. So let's just see how that goes. Now I might need these baskets for something like bigger eventually um, to store, but for right now I'll just use them for napkins and then it's kind of with 
the napkin rings and everything else in the dining room. And then this middle basket used it to store all of our awkward size like liquor bottles. We don't drink a lot in this house. Um, but I feel like all alcohol bottles are like really tall, so I didn't have that many. So this bag actually works out perfect for it because I always was like laying them flat in the cabinets and then it took up a lot of room and it was just like all over the place. So now um, all the liquor is in one spot and it's kind of hidden. So yeah, this is kind of where we store our liquor at the moment. And then this last basket, I actually don't really have a use for. It's just kind of like a collect all at the moment. I have some <laughs> Christmas lights in here that we still need to hang and some like Christmas light clips. So um, again, we'll probably use that for something different in the future, but for right now it's holding extra Christmas lights. <laughs> and that my friends is how I organized this side table in my dining room. So now I'm going to look at my checklist, make sure I got everything, and then we'll start in the pantry. Okay, so we are now going to go through the pantry and the fridge. So we are getting close to the end of this kitchen organization video. So I'm going through the fridge and pantry. The same rules apply. You're going to take everything out. You're going to wipe out the fridge and the cabinets. Then you're going to place everything into piles to go through and organize everything. Get rid of anything that is either expired or you guys don't eat or use. And then you're going to add a container or a basket if it helps in that space that you are organizing. So remember how I said last year I had to really assess the kitchen and come up with a space to make the pantry? Well last year what I did is I defined this cabinet as the snack and like produce cabinet. Down here is also the snack and like storage area. On this side we have like back stock so this is all of like the canned goods, pasta, extra sauces, things like that. Right here we have all the baking goods and like olive oil and like liquid sauces, if that makes sense. Um, and then on this side, we have breakfast prep, dinner prep, protein, and like teas and coffee. Because again, we don't have a walk-in and we don't have like a pantry or storage room. So I really had to define each space and that helped so much. So we're gonna start on this side. We're gonna start on the top and work our way down. And yeah, just get through this pantry. Okay, so this space is a little hard to see. Not much going on up here. I'm just gonna take it all out, clean it out, and organize it. Up here, I really don't put a lot. It's just more like cereals and boxed things that are easy to grab. Um, here, I keep all of our potatoes and onions in little baskets, like this. And then down here is like all of our snacks, and I pretty much have it organized into Sawyer snacks and my snacks. So I'm just gonna go through it now and make sure we actually eat everything that's in here. I'm gonna end up giving my mom a lot of our snacks because I recently had to go gluten and dairy free. So a lot of the stuff that I have in the cabinets for myself, like protein bars, I can't eat anymore. So I'm gonna give it to my mom. Um, so none of this will be going to waste. It'll just be going to a different house. So that first cabinet is done. Much better, oh my gosh. And then down here is a different story. Okay, so in this top drawer, is our chips and it's exploding. So I might actually empty out both of these because I'm gonna have to reorganize and just totally gut it. <laughs> um, so yeah, pull it all out. That is much better. Now, in my perfect world, I would love to have all the chips in little OXO like clear containers, um, but I haven't found the right size that'll work for this, and we also have a lot of chips, so I don't really know how that would work. Um, so I might do that eventually. Um, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is how it turned out. I gotta put this up by the snacks. A lot better, we have all the chips. I went through them and got rid of anything that was stale or that we didn't eat. And then same thing down here, just made sure everything was fresh and that we still eat it. And you'd be surprised how much food just actually sits here and you don't actually eat it. 
Okay, then down here, we have my Tupperware drawer, which is actually quite empty because we have a lot of leftovers in the fridge, which I will be going through. Um, but this actually isn't that bad. I keep this very organized. Um, when we moved, I got new sets of Tupperware so everything matched. And I highly recommend going through your Tupperware area because I know there is some mismatched pieces that don't have lids or vice versa and just get rid of it. Just make sure everything has a match. Make sure everything fits and works together because if not, it's not worth having. You'll feel a lot better if your Tupperware area is under control. All right, then this bottom drawer probably needs some help. Yep, okay. So this is my catch-all extra napkins, random decor, randomness. It's a lot of random stuff down here. So I'm just gonna go through it. Ooh, you guys remember how I have an empty basket with napkins in it. I could probably go put all of these like seasonal napkins in there. That's an idea. Woo! Bugs! Ugh! So sick of these random bugs jumping out at me. Oh, moving cockroach! No, no, no. Uh-uh. There's like 10 of them down here. I'm over this. After that cockroach extravaganza, I'm gonna call this sure good as well. Yeah, I'm done with that. Gross. Okay, so now we are going to go through this side of my pantry and we're going to start at the top as well so let's just start Okay, now we are going to move on to the lower cabinet. First, we have the breakfast prep. These are all the things that we use to make breakfast, like oatmeal, pancakes, syrups, things like that. So I'm just gonna take it all out, make sure everything's still good, check expiration dates. Okay, next we're gonna go through our protein drawer. Um, and I have Sarah here to help me do it because I don't know what he wants to keep. So, what would he like to toss? These are all mine. This one's my, do you still want no Shakeology? Don't need Shakeology. Okay. okay, and then the last drawer in the pantry, this is very, very exciting, is the coffee and drink drawer. Um, <laughs> this has gotten out of hand. So, I'm just gonna make a big pile in front of me and divide it into what it is. What is this? Okay, the next step is to organize and go through the fridge. When I do this, I'm gonna check expiration dates, make sure we're going to actually use everything. So often, things like sauces and random things just stay in your fridge, so it's really, really good to go through it actually every couple of months. I do it almost every other month, and I actually wipe out all the shelves because, you know, things drip, things leak, it's just gross. So I always make it a habit to constantly go through the fridge. So with that being said, earlier last year, I actually organized the fridge well. What I mean is I actually got clear bins for the fridge. It does not look organized right now. We actually just did a huge grocery shop and so it's kind of like overstuffed. So the fridge really does need to be organized and gone through and making sure everything is still good in here. Anyways, I did add some clear bins to the fridge as well as to my like drawer right here in the fridge and it helped a freaking ton. What I'm gonna do is take it level by level and just take everything out, clean it, and organize it. I am not gonna do the doors because I actually just went through that about maybe a couple weeks ago and I organized everything and like wiped down all the bottles. So luckily, I don't have to do that today. <laughs> 
but I am gonna go through the main part of the fridge and make sure everything is good. So let's just start and get this done. Okay, so the top half of the fridge has been gone through. It looks so much better. I don't know if you can tell from there, but it definitely helps to add containers and just always go through your fridge. You'll be so thankful that you did it and it'll never get out of hand because sometimes you just forget about a random sauce or random ketchup packets and you just don't need that in there. So always go through your fridge and this door is driving me nuts. Okay, so our fridge has a top half of the fridge as well as this like pull out drawer. And this really comes in handy. This is where I keep like cheeses for cheese boards, salami, prosciutto. I have like biscuits here. I have meats and more meats as well as just some random like yogurts and things like that. So this drawer really comes in handy because it gives me more of an opportunity to organize and just keep things separate. Um, highly recommend if you are ever getting a new fridge, to find a fridge with this drawer. Um, really like it, it's kind of in handy and it gives you a lot more space. And then for our freezer, I always keep like the meats on one side and then like vegetables and more like random meals on this side. Uh, we also have this cool shelf right here. So I keep like ice creams here, my beauty tools, random things that I don't want to lose in the midst of this. And then also in our freezer, we have this cool pull out drawer as well. So I have a lot of cool little drawers that I'm able to organize in here and it makes it really, really easy. So up top, I keep like all my gluten-free bread. I have ice packs, I have ice cream, frozen bananas, acai packets. So these are things that, again, I don't wanna get lost down here. So it's really cool that I'm able to organize my freezer this way. But if you aren't able to do that, I highly recommend either containers or just always go through your freezer so that way it never gets out of hand. So I'm gonna do that right now and just make sure everything is in its place. Okay, then the last thing I need to organize in the whole kitchen, we have made it guys, <laughs> is my mini fridge. Now I refrigerate a red wine and our Prosecco Rose, I refrigerate it all. I personally like red wine cold, so that is what I do here. I just have some random drinks that nobody ever drinks, so I just kinda wanna go through it and make sure, again, everything in here is things that we actually drink. So I'm just gonna organize it because it kind of looks a little rough. Let's make this look better. So the mini fridge is now done and organized. That means everything in the kitchen and dining room has been organized, gone through, checked expiration dates, wiped everything down. I am so happy about that. So there's only really one last thing to do and that is to wipe down the counters and wipe down all of the cabinets and handles. Um, I do this all the time, like when I clean, but whenever I do like a deep organization, I just always love to make sure everything's clean and then I know it is like fully reset. So I am quickly going to do that, wipe down all the counters and the cabinets and it'll just feel so fresh and clean and organized. I'm so excited, let's do it. organized and decluttered my whole kitchen. It feels so good knowing that everything has been gone through, all expiration dates have been checked, and I know where everything is, and oh, I cannot recommend organizing and decluttering your kitchen enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my process and how I declutter the space in my kitchen. It feels so nice, like, 
cannot recommend it enough. <laughs> so of course I will link everything down below, all the containers I used, any little gadgets or anything in my kitchen that I can think of, I will try to link it down there below. If I miss something and you do have a specific question about the link, feel free to ask it in the comments below. And if you have any questions about organizing or decluttering your kitchen, feel free to ask me down there as well. I'd be happy to answer it. <sighs> but, oh, I'm so happy this is done. This is a big thing off of my to-do list. So with that being said, be sure you are subscribed. I am going to be organizing other spaces in my house and resetting for the new year. Um, so if you like organizing, I would love to have you. So I do hope you guys found this video helpful and honestly, satisfying. I love watching people organize and clean. So I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing me organize the kitchen, but that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.